Hi, welcome back to Drawing and Painting. This is Ms. Landy. In today's class, we are going to be working with both elements of art called value and texture. Now, you have looked at these before and we've actually done projects with them. However, I wanna show you a new technique for you. It's called stippling. So we are going to make both value and texture with a technique called stippling. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, let's refresh your memory. On the top here, this is our value page. On the top here, we made a value scale by just coloring the different spaces and blending the pencil together. On this section over here, we used a technique called hatching, where we used lines and as the value scale gets darker, we put more lines in and move them closer together. On this section over here, this is called cross hatching, where we use the same concept as the hatching, except we crossed the lines. And we also add, added, excuse me, diagonals. Now, on the bottom, this is what we're talking about today. This is called stippling. As you can see at the beginning of the value scale, we have a few dots and they are farther apart. And then as we move to the right, we add more dots and we put them closer together. Now, let me point out one thing also. This top section is in pen. It's actually a marker thin tip. And on the bottom, this is done in pencil. And again, we added a few dots. And as we move towards the right, we add more dots and we put them closer together. And this is an example of stippling. Here's another example. In this section over here, we used marker and we also used different colors of marker. And the same thing was achieved as our value scale. If we put the dots closer together, it looks darker. And if we put them farther apart, it looks lighter. Take a look, let's look at it a little bit closer so you can see the details of the colors we used. On this section over here, let me put it a little bit closer, there we go. I dipped a pencil, the tip of it, in paint and I did it this way. So this is actually an example using paint. At the end of today's video will be your assignment. Please email that to me right away. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.